Time is limited. How many Wednesdays do you have left? How many months? How many weeks? How many years? How many minutes? That clock is ticking and it's going to run out. There's people with dreams, incredible dreams, beautiful dreams, heartwarming dreams, but who executes? Without execution, those dreams are nothing. Without execution, those goals are nothing. Without execution, those ideas are nothing. Without execution, you become nothing. How strong is your movement? What time do you wake up in the morning? What time do you go to sleep? And how much time do you waste throughout the day? The plan, the idea, the thought doesn't matter. If you want to win, you have to execute. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by, wasted, consuming garbage with no purpose and no point? Stop wasting time and get after it. It's little decisions that put you on the right path. Are you working out today or sleeping in? Are you studying today or wasting time? Are you making yourself better today or slacking off? When you make your decision, make the right decision. What would happen to your life if you decided to stop counting the costs? If you started doing whatever is required? If you stopped holding yourself back? What could you be? If you worked as hard as you could, what could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I say you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out and then go get some. You got to get to the point where you don't care how it feels. You don't care whether you want to do it, whether you don't want to do it, whether it's easy, whether it's hard. None of that sh matters. All that matters is that you get it done every single day. You do whatever it takes. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. If some of you aren't doing sh you're 10%, it's just getting off the f***ing couch. The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. Find yourself in the grip of life. You can't find yourself by doing nothing. When you get to that point, it's not just a mindset. It becomes a fucking lifestyle. You become an unstoppable, disciplined motherfucking machine, and you create a life of greatness. That's why I'm successful. I got that dog. After 20 years of doing it, I still got that dog. And with that dog, I execute. Sharks are hundreds and predators. They never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. In order for you to rise up, you better take your game to the next level. Your mindset needs to go to the next level. Your information needs to go to the next level. I'm going to think. I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. And that's how you get to the next level. If you want to be great, if you want to reach a level others will be measured by, you've got to be willing to work every single waking hour. You've got to be f***ing obsessed. You've got to be willing to get it done or die trying. Rest when you must. Recover when needed. But don't ever stop grinding. Never take your foot off the gas. Never stop. Never quit. you got to dedicate every single hour of every single day, of every single week, of every single f***ing year for many years to reach greatness. When you are consistently hammered on that project, on that goal, on that dream, you will no longer be dreaming about success. You'll be living it. The thing that's different about people who win consistently across the course of their life is that we expect the wins to happen all the time. They don't come as a surprise. Wins don't shock winners. They aren't amazed when they got a win any more than Michael Jordan was amazed when he hit a game-winning shot. That's what he expected. That's what we focused on. That's what we acted to do. That's what we worked to do. And because of all those things, Things, we expect to win every time. Zero exceptions. True winners, they never lose focus. 
they always focus on the goal. They always focus on the process and they always focus on being the absolute best that they can. The greatest of all time, the Tom Brady's, the Michael Jordan's, the Kobe Bryant's of the world. They might celebrate hard, but they don't celebrate long. Come Monday, come the next morning, they're back at it. They're focused, they're undistracted, they're driven, they're enjoying their progress, they're enjoying their wins, but they're not over celebrating them. And that's the attitude you have to have toward a single victory if you want to make it a lifestyle and a lifetime of winning. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. You don't have time. You don't have support. You don't have the equipment or the gear. You're too busy and you're too tired or you're too sore or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. You cannot let your impulses govern and rule your life. I just don't want you to make the same stupid mistakes over and over and over again and call it life. I don't want you to keep doing dumb stuff and say, my life is miserable. No, your life is not miserable. Your ability to edit, to make adjustments, to make corrections is messed up. If you don't like where you are right now, turn around and look at what you've done. You've built every single step to create this. No accidents. Just taking the easy road too many times, not getting up, not going for that extra rep, putting that extra mile in, the little inches of life that add up to be first place or forgotten. Consistency is having a goal, and when you wake up that day and you don't feel like it, you still do what you told yourself you was going to do. It is the days you don't feel like doing it, but you look at your wife, you look at your kids, and you realize that I am where I am because of other people's sacrifice. I got to get up and make it happen, even though I don't want to get up and make it happen. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. When you master yourself, you put yourself in a position that a lot of people can't do what you do, and then you become rare, and diamonds are rare. That's why they cost so much. This has everything to do with pride. You got to take pride. I need you to give 120% and do it for the pride of who you are. Because life is going to give you back what you give it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong. But by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you. And the best never happens to you. You got to decide that you're going to do something. And you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're a good person that just hope the good stuff is gonna happen to you. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. What does a $500,000 a year person do The $50,000 a year person doesn't do? He does everything he's supposed to in a little bit more. He works hard in a little bit more. He makes money a little bit more. He saves money a little bit more. There's no easy way to the top. If you want to win in this life, you got to do what you're supposed to and a little bit more, and you can't ever stop at the finish line. You know what you got to do to hit a golf ball like me? You got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You go down and you hit a 1,000 golf balls. You hit so many golf balls at your hands starts bleeding. Then you run up to the clubhouse, you wash that blood off your hand, you slap a bandage on it, and you go down and you hit another thousand golf balls. Yeah, you'd love to hit a golf ball like me if it was easy. Well, nothing good comes easy. I don't care what's going on around you, because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you, and you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude, and you can control your mindset. You get one shot. You better make the kind of decisions that's going to take you to the NBA. You better make the right decisions. That's going to take you to the NFL. It's one thing to dream about your destiny, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up, to write when you don't feel like writing that paper, to say no to that party, saying no to quitting when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Say no when your body said stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You got to be about it. Almost everybody gets there. Almost every Everybody's over the hump. Almost everybody has it going. Almost is a way of life to almost everybody, but the winners, they do it. What do they do? They do whatever it takes to get the job done. They do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done.
done. And then they talk about how great it is to have achieved something unique and how glad they are that they didn't quit like everybody else. And I'm telling you, you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour early and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop hitting that snooze button. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dreaming and start living it. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? How much money do you want to make a year? What do you want to drive? How do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. No one's coming to lift the weights for you. No one's coming to study for you. No one's coming to put in the hours for you. No one's coming to do all the hard work for you. You have to do it yourself. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. So when you make your decision, make the right decision. The price of regret is much harder than the price of discipline. The discipline weighs ounces, the regret weighs tons. If you want to live a happy, healthy, successful life, you've got to pick to go through the pain now and enjoy the peace later. Do not fall victim to the short-term gratification that is whispering in your ear, telling you five more minutes is fine. You can sleep in, you can eat that just this once, you can take the day off. You deserve to take a break. Shut that voice down. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Your habits are the building blocks of your life. It's what you do every single day that matters more than anything. Doing things that are a break from your routine are going to require force. So you have to force yourself to be uncomfortable. Get out of your head. Get out of your feelings. Your feelings are screwing you over. If you listen to how you feel, you'll never get it because you'll never feel like doing it. Decide you'll do it no matter what. Commit yourself to the regime. You get up when you're supposed to get up. You study when you're supposed to study. You go to the gym when you're supposed to go to the gym. You work when you're supposed to work. You do whatever it is you told yourself you were gonna do long after the mood you set it in is left. If you don't control your mind and your mind controls you, you're fucked. You gotta take control and tell your brain where you wanna go and what you wanna do. Because if you don't, you will always be a loser. You gotta decide that you're gonna do something and you gotta do it every day of the fucking week. The problem with some of you, you just hope that good stuff is gonna happen to you. You gotta get up and make shit happen. You guys don't have unlimited time here. The world isn't gonna stop and time isn't gonna stop. Guess what, that's the way life is. You don't have enough time. You gotta make time. Those at the top who become the best, they don't let too many terrible days create negative momentum for themselves. They're obsessed about stacking great productive days back to back to back to back because they know if you do that, the level of momentum created after a year, two years, three years, five years.